Hi everybody! Today we will assemble a robot with four legs and a motor. Here are all its parts. This kit is very interesting for me. That's why I decided to assemble it. There is a link to a web page with an instruction manual in the video description section. Insert this metal part into the plastic connecting port using pliers. Insert the other end of the metal part into the second plastic part. Everything is fitting very tightly, so you may need to use some additional force. There are 16 parts now. They should rotate very tightly. Otherwise, the robot won't work properly. Assemble the next portion of the parts using the parts that you've just finished. Don't forget to use these orange stoppers. The next element also has a gear. You need to make three elements like this. Use the stoppers. Use the longer rod for the third part. Don't use the stoppers this time. Assemble the robot's base this way. Attach the elements with gears on the base. The reducer is ready. It will transfer rotation from the motor to the robot's legs. Check the reducer by moving one of the gears. Watch the center gear. It rotates very slowly. Assemble two pairs of white plastic connecting elements with small screws. Put the elements onto the reducer center rod. Pile up the wooden parts this way and attach the motor there. The screws are included in the kit. Assemble front leg supporters. You should have four short and four long leg parts now. Put the white elements onto the short leg parts. They should look like this. Put the stoppers and the parts that were assembled in the beginning of the video on the long leg parts. It should look like this. Solder the battery case to the motor. Attach the battery case to these white parts with hot glue. Assemble the legs very carefully. Use the parts you assembled earlier. There is some surplus of parts. Some stoppers and metal and white plastic parts are left over after assembling the robot. I'm very much into all these projects with robots, and I guess you are interested in them too since you're watching this video. Assemble the legs for the other side of the robot. Do it the same way. This is how the robot should look. Turn it on. It slides on this surface. Let's try it on a carpet. Now it's walking better. If you think this robot is cool, click like and subscribe to my channel. There will be more interesting crafts for you in the future. See you. Bye-bye.